defense just couldn't couldn't cool them off in the second half. Um, we didn't play with the effort uh, or execution defensively that is needed uh, to win on the road in the Big East. And when we had breakdowns of effort and execution, uh, they made us pay literally every time. And that's something we got to fix and we got to fix it soon. We'll go to Matt with the Marquette wire. Coach Xavier for the majority of the second half was shooting upwards of 80% from the field. I believe they finished around 70%. How did you guys kind of stay with them offensively throughout the half? And also how tough was Paul Scruggs to stop throughout the second half? Um, well, number one, Scruggs was sensational. Uh, you know, he was, uh, he played like the big time player he is. I mean, he's one of the best guards, not only in the Big East, but also uh, in the entire country. And, and he played like that at an incredibly high level today. Um, defensively, you know, you, you, we got to play a lot harder. We got to play a lot harder and we have to play uh, more connected and with a lot more effort defensively you know? And we didn't do that and we got punished big time for it. Offensively, the offense wasn't our problem. Back to Ben Steele. You know, Xavier got a lot of offensive rebounds. I think they had 12. Uh, you know, your team had been such a strong defensive rebounding team most of the season. Why do you think uh, Xavier was able to get those today? They, they, see, they were just quicker than us in all facets to include uh, the offensive boards. Um, I thought we were very slow of foot and slow of mind uh, today, and they made us pay. Back to Matt. Where? Um, Kunkel in the second half really came on. I believe he had 20 in the second half. Was that an unexpected kind of – were you focusing on him at all defensively and how? what made him so hard to stop in the second half? Well, he kicked our butt. And, you know, um, he was sensational for them, uh, you know, throughout the game. And, and really, uh, we, we have great respect for him. And we have great respect for anybody who's playing in the Big East. And, and certainly our scouting report was – uh, is understanding how how good of a shooter he is. And we let him get loose time and time again. And uh, he was huge in their win. Ben Steele, Journal Sentinel. Ben, you're muted. Sorry, 10 months into this, haven't figured it out yet. Um, you know, your big guys were... Pretty good, uh, efficient offensively today. Uh, was that was getting Dawson aggressive early, part of the game plan, and that, and also Theo. How how have you seen his offensive game kind of evolve? He's got that jump hook down now. Yeah, that, you know we we want to play through the post, and uh, I thought our guys were efficient offensively um, when we got the ball there. Uh, there were moments in the game where I felt like we lost sight of that. And, you know, those things, those things can't happen. Um, but all, again, you know, all, offense was not the issue today. You know, you score 88 points on the road. You should have a heck of a chance to, to win the game. Our defense really let us down. So where are you at with the progress on this team? You know, we've seen the incredible highs of being like two top 10 teams and then struggled a bit the last couple of games. How do you assess the, the progress so far? Yeah, we played a, we played a monster schedule and, um, and it's, it's happened really fast, um, you know, for all of our guys, but especially the, the new faces. And, um, you know, we, you know, I feel, I feel like our guys are playing tired and um you you can't you can't do that you can't do that uh, but it, things have happened fast i mean we 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 have a chance to be a good team and you know we're gonna have a number of opportunities 
to show improvement, and we obviously got to get better, uh, especially on the defensive end. Back to Matt with the wire. Coach, what can you take from this game moving forward? Obviously, you said you played such a tough schedule. You got another top 10 team in Villanova on Wednesday. What is going to be your message leading up to that game in terms of what you can take from this loss? Well, I mean, it's the, the, the obvious message is we have to play defense. <laughs> you know, you, you, you're, we're not going to win in the Big East when you let a team shoot the percentages that Xavier shot. And uh, we we have to rectify that. 